crayons and a black texture. Or textures or pencils, doesn't matter. Some blue paint if you've got it. If not, doesn't matter. Pencils is fine. Paint's just a little bit quicker. And a ruler. I really do need to get myself a small ruler. But as we say in the art world, whew, I don't know what we say in the art world. Oh well, let's get started, shall we? The very first thing you need to do is you need to draw a line with your ruler and your black texture from one corner to the other corner. And then you need to do the same the other way. Oh, I've got a lovely diagonal line. That is marvellous, my darlings. Now, what we need to do is we need to do some measuring. And we need to divide the bottom line up into even spots. About five. Let's see. My line is... Oh, wrong way. Silly, Miss Canvas. My page is... 40 centimetres. 40 divided by 5. Hmm. 40 divided by 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 8. 8 centimetres. Go to measure 8. 8. 8. 8. Along the bottom. And then I'm going to join those dots up with my centre mark. Here we go. One. Two. Oh, where is my dot gone? Oh, there it is. Silly dot, it was missing. Three. lines to make five sections. There we go. Marvellous. Look at that. Now I need to rule some lines this way, horizontally. It doesn't matter how many lines you draw here, but you want to keep them about the same. Distance apart. Going to draw them across here. Oh, looks fantastic. Oh, I can really see it's taking shape now. Goodness me, look at that. Now I need to do some colouring with my black texture. And I am going to colour every second square to make a checkerboard pattern. Are you ready? Let's go. Colour in this one, then miss one. Colour in the next one, then miss one. And colour in the next one. Marvellous! On the next row, I need to colour the ones that are alternate. Are you ready? That means I'll colour this one. Colour this one. Stay in the lines. No white spaces. Oh, marvellous. And I have to go all the way to the bottom. go all done the next thing we need to do is paint the other three quarters of this piece of paper the other three out of four triangles blue like the water I've got my paintbrush I've got some water I'm going to make it thin I don't want it too thick here we go painting 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 Painting, oh I love painting, lovely painting. Make sure I get it 
right to the very edges. But try not to get it on the black. Painting, painting, painting. More water, painting, painting. Painting, painting. There we go, looks magnificent. And on the other side, ruling nice and straight lines, so they're pointing to the sky. It's always good to sing when you do art. Lovely black lines, amazing. Look at that now. Now aquariums are usually round, so now we need to draw a curved line to join these up. One curved line. Two curved lines. Three curved lines. Oh, and this last one gets a bit tricky, but that's okay. It can go up and off the page and come back. Looks amazing now. Just a couple of things. We want to make this line a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to make it without my ruler. I'm going to draw over that line just next to it. So it gets a little bit thicker there. You can use your ruler if you want. There we go. Magical! And I need these aquarium lines at the top to be a little bit thicker too, so I'm just going to draw around them again as well. And the lucky last one. Magical! Now I need to add fish. But before I add fish to my aquarium, I'm going to add some plants. And I'm going to add some plants in my crayons along here. Bit of grass, just green squiggles. Some bigger than the other ones all the way along. They're much bigger and taller when they're close to you. And as you get further and further towards the centre, they're going to get smaller and smaller. And on the other side. Bit 
some seaweed here. Bit of seaweed here. Bit of seaweed there. There's nothing like seaweed everywhere. Seaweed. The seaweed. The seaweed? Oh dear. I hope not. That would be very embarrassing. Oh dear. Maybe I shouldn't sing while I'm doing art quite so much. There we go. Amazing. And I'm going to get my other green. And I'm just going to put some dark green bits in there as well. There we go, a bit of highlights, we call them in the art world, highlights. Some highlights here and some highlights there, along my green seaweed. Do, 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 Amazing! Look at that! Unbelievable! You are an amazing artist! I can't wait to see it finished. Now we get to draw the fish and maybe some jellyfish and a shark or even a turtle or a stingray. Oh my goodness. I think I am going to draw a purple jellyfish first. Here we go. Purple jellyfish. some eyes, mouth. Oh, and I might draw a turtle. I love turtles. Draw a turtle. I'm going to draw his shell. There we go. I'm going to very roughly colour it in in this colour. I'm going to draw his little tail and his flippers. Turtles have four flippers. And of course his head. There we go. Give him a bit of colouring in there. Um, let me see. What else lives in the ocean? Fish! We're going to need some fish. Fish. Fish, 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 fish. Fish are beautifully coloured with beautiful tails. And they usually swim in schools. That means lots of fish. So I better draw some little fish too. With their beautiful tails. And you need to keep decorating your aquarium till it's filled with sea life.